Guess what? Star Trek IV is officially happening. Yep, you heard that right. So let's dive into all the juicy details, from potential release dates to the cast lineup and everything in between. Oh, and here's a fun tidbit. The showrunner of Picard is totally on board and would love to write for none other than Nicolas Cage in Star Trek IV. How cool would that be? Plus, there's this fan theory about Kirk causing a whole species to go extinct. And guess what? It's been confirmed to be true. Can you believe it? So buckle up, Trekkies, because it looks like we're in for quite the ride with Star Trek IV. So here's the scoop. Star Trek has officially backed a major fan theory about the voyage home, and it's a game changer. This theory, revolving around humpback whales, a key element of the film's plot, has been a hot topic among fans for years. But guess what? In the 2008 comic, Star Trek The Last Generation, the theory gets a nod of confirmation. This comic, penned by Andrew Stephen Harris and illustrated by Gordon Purcell, delves into an alternate timeline where the Klingons reign supreme after some time travel shenanigans by Braxton. And guess what catches Braxton's attention? Yup, Kirk's escapades in the voyage home. So what's the deal with the voyage home? Released in 1986 to celebrate the franchise's 20th anniversary, it's hailed as one of the best Star Trek movies ever. In a nutshell, Kirk and crew time travel to the 20th century to save Earth from an alien probe by nabbing a couple of humpback whales and bringing them to the future. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Fans have long debated whether Kirk's plan was a stroke of genius or a massive blunder. See, one of the whales was pregnant, so technically they could have saved the species. But by whisking them away from the past, Kirk inadvertently set the stage for their extinction. Plus, Dr. Gillian Taylor, a whale expert, also gets zapped to the future, squashing any chance of her advocating for whale preservation efforts. And get this, Kirk's no stranger to messing with timelines. His time travel antics have earned him a reputation as a troublemaker in the Federation's Department of Temporal Investigations. So, Star Trek's endorsement of this fan theory adds a whole new layer to Kirk's legacy, painting him as a character with more depth and consequences than we may have realized. With that being said, let's dive into the intriguing prospect of Nicolas Cage joining the Star Trek universe in the upcoming Star Trek IV. Terry Metalis, the showrunner for Star Trek Picard Season 3, recently expressed his enthusiasm for the idea, stating that he would jump at the chance to write for Cage in the movie. Cage's interest in Star Trek has certainly sparked excitement, especially after his declaration last year favoring it over Star Wars. In a recent interview at the 51st Annual Saturn Awards, where Star Trek Picard Season 3 received accolades, Matalus shared his eagerness for the potential collaboration. He mentioned that Cage could bring a captivating dynamic to the film, especially if cast as a villain, given his knack for larger-than-life characters. Imagining Cage commanding a starship or stirring up trouble on an alien bridge is indeed an enticing thought for fans. Metalis's track record with Star Trek Picard Season 3 speaks volumes about his ability to handle the franchise with care and creativity. The show's success, blending nostalgia with innovative storytelling, underscores Metalis' deep appreciation for Star Trek's legacy. Additionally, his prowess as a director was evident in the season's finale, which was even showcased in IMAX theaters. With Metalis at the helm, the potential inclusion of Cage in Star Trek IV holds promise for an exciting and memorable addition to the franchise. Whether it's through Picard's proposed spin-off or the anticipated Star Trek IV, fans can't help but anticipate the intriguing possibilities that lie ahead. If rumors are anything to go by, there are currently four Star Trek movies in various stages of development. However, fans might be rightfully skeptical about whether these projects will see the light of day. The sequel to 2016's Star Trek Beyond has been stuck in development limbo for almost eight years, with no signs of progress since it was removed from Paramount's schedule in 2023. Recently, reports surfaced about a second J.J. Abrams-produced Star Trek film set decades before the 2009 reboot. But that's not all. There are also reportedly two spin-off movies in the works, with one confirmed to stream on Paramount+. This confirmed project is Michelle Yeoh's Star Trek Section 31, currently in production. The details of the other spin-off are less clear, with speculation about a Star Trek Picard continuation. 
However, it's important to note that only one of these four projects is actively moving forward. Michelle Yeoh's Star Trek Section 31 movie stands out as the most concrete project set to stream exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Directed by Olatunde Usun Sanmi and written by Craig Sweeney, it delves into the story of Emperor Philippa Georgiou and her involvement in Starfleet's covert organization. While not much else is known about this movie, more details may emerge as production progresses. One lingering question is whether it occurs between Star Trek Discovery Seasons 1 and 2 or continues Georgiou's story post-Discovery Season 3. Despite being the only movie currently in production, Star Trek Section 31 is aimed at Paramount Plus's streaming audience rather than theaters. However, featuring Michelle Yeoh in the lead role could draw broader interest. Yeoh's active role in getting the project off the ground contrasts with the situation surrounding J.J. Abrams' Star Trek cast and their potential involvement in a fourth Kelvin Timeline movie. Star Trek Section 31 is just the beginning of Paramount Plus's strategy to release Star Trek movies every two years for streaming. Another noteworthy development is a new Star Trek origin prequel movie, revealed by Deadline in January 2024. Penned by Seth Graham Smith and directed by Toby Haynes, the film is set decades before the events of the Abrams movies. Produced by Abrams' Bad Robot, it hints at a Kelvin timeline connection. However, given the history of stalled Star Trek projects, including the long-delayed Star Trek IV, there's no guarantee this origin movie will make it to the screen, despite the promising talent attached. Finally, rumors about a potential Star Trek Picard movie surfaced following an interview with Patrick Stewart on Joshua Horowitz's Happy, Sad, Confused podcast. While discussing Star Trek movies and filmmaking in general, Stewart mentioned that a script for the actor Patrick to perform was in the works. Many outlets interpreted this as a sign of a Star Trek Picard movie being in development. However, when considering Stewart's conversation with Horowitz in its entirety, the quote doesn't necessarily confirm this. It seems more likely that Stewart was referring to a different project outside of the Star Trek universe. Stewart continued to talk about Star Trek Picard separately from the script he mentioned, indicating that they are distinct topics. While Michelle Yeoh's Star Trek Section 31 movie is part of a planned series of Paramount Plus exclusive films, there's no indication that a Picard movie is part of these plans. Although a Picard movie could potentially serve as a pilot for Terry Matalas's hypothetical Star Trek legacy series, there's currently no concrete evidence to suggest that a movie starring Patrick Stewart is in the works for Star Trek fans to anticipate. And with that being said, did you know that Quentin Tarantino had initially planned to helm an R-rated Star Trek film, but he ultimately decided against making Star Trek IV his final directorial venture? Known for his iconic works like Pulp Fiction, Tarantino had previously stated his intention to retire after directing 10 films. While his concept for a Star Trek movie was undoubtedly intriguing, it never progressed beyond the scripting phase. Collaborating with director Mark L. Smith, Tarantino crafted a script based on his vision, but the project didn't advance further. In an interview with Collider discussing The Boys in the Boat, screenwriter Mark L. Smith shed light on the Star Trek IV script he worked on with Tarantino. Smith revealed that Tarantino grappled with the idea of Star Trek being his tenth and ultimate film, causing him to step back from the project. According to Smith, Tarantino pondered whether concluding his directing career with a Star Trek movie was the right choice. This internal conflict ultimately stalled progress on the script, leaving it untouched on Tarantino's desk. Despite the script's potential, Smith acknowledged the unlikely prospect of it ever coming to fruition. Nevertheless, he praised Tarantino's bold approach, expressing his belief that the film would have been a standout addition to the Star Trek franchise. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.